Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. This month I'll be building pack seven of the Volkswagen T1 Samba bus from Diagostini Collectibles. I am working on stages 28 through 32. Now I'll continue with the interior of the bus. We assemble a lot of the seats and the, uh, the back bulkhead and such. Fantastic build. I'm really enjoying this. It's a great, uh, you know, car. I mean, you, you would not believe how beautiful this thing looks until it's actually all built up and sitting right there in your living room or in your, uh, in your den. But anyway, if you haven't done so already, head over to Diagostini Collectibles and check out this subscription. Uh, oftentimes you receive free gifts with that, which I did. I received a free gift with this pack. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I did put a direct link and promo code down below where you can subscribe to this build. Please hit that direct link and let Diagostini know that you're watching my videos. With that, let's get started on this build. Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. This time we look at pack number seven for the build, the Volkswagen T1 Samba bus from Diagostini Collectibles. And we are gonna be building stages 28 through 32. And these are all the magazines that came with this pack. Here's the parts for stage 28. Stage 29. Stage 30, stage 31, and stage 32. So as you can see here, it's all interior components, all the seats. We continue with the seats except for the very last stage, which is the floor heater. So let's get started on stage 28. And one of the gifts that came with pack 7 is this very nice enamel mug. And uh, it's very nice to see this. We'll take it out. And it's the first time I received the enamel mug from a part work type kit. And that's what it looks like there. Beautiful. Like I said, it's an enamel mug. And uh, South California one, right? Pacific Coast Highway number one. Very nice. There you have it. So your gift may vary. Head over to Diagostini Collectibles and see what free gifts you'll receive when you sign up for this subscription. So for stage 28, this is the magazine here, very nice. Uh, ranges from about 12 to 13 pages, semi-gloss pages. So first thing to give us an article on evolution of the T1 from 1959 to 62. Very nice article here, very nice photography here, showing us the engine, transmission, transaxle, uh, shots of the Volkswagen itself, and then this iconic shot here of the bus that we are building in this, and we're going to work on the middle seat bottom, so let's get a closer look at that. So it just shows us the parts that we received with this stage, and the assembly diagram that we're going to be doing. And we start assembling the bottom of the seat. Putting in a bunch of screws here. Then we'll put one of the seat backs in. It looks great. And lastly, that's what it should look like. We'll have some extra screws left over. And this is the area we're working at. Let's look at the parts and get started. Here's the parts for stage 28, and you can see how that looks there. Let me take it out, we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. This is the middle seat bottom, and it's already assembled pretty much there. Also, the screws we received, BPO4 and BPO3. And we need to get the seat bottom from the previous pack that we assembled. That's this right here. And this is simply gonna insert onto the bottom. And that's what that looks like there.
and okay so just make sure it's all the way down where the lip of the seat is not jammed up in it in, in any way BPO four screws go into this and looks like we put about six of them in and last one we actually put five in and that's how that looks there it's all done next we go ahead and gather the seat back rest that we assembled in the previous uh, stage from the last pack and that's simply just going to go down on top of that just like that looks like we're going to put in three bpo3 screws and these screws are a little bit smaller And that's how that looks there. Very nice. And that's all we do in this stage. So let's go ahead and head over to stage 29. These are the extra screws. We're going to save those because we're going to use them a little bit later. And here's the magazine for stage 29. Let's look at the instructions. And in the instructions, we are going to complete the rear bulkhead of the middle seat. Here's the parts we received. Here's the uh, assembly diagram. And you can see here we're working on this one of the seat backs. This is a folding seat back. Looks like it's going to slot into that, that other seat bench that we just assembled in the previous stage. And that's what it does there. It makes it so the seat back can go up and down. And that's all we do in this stage. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. And here's the parts for stage 29. And uh, these are not anything like we're going to be assembling because we just saw the instructions, but these are going to get us ready for the next stage. So let me take these out. We'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of the part. It's plastic. And this is the seat back area. And we'll see how that goes here in the next stage and BPO six screws. So let's get started on this one. Okay, so the assembly we do in stage 29 is we're going to put that seat back rest here on here. And this is what we assembled in the previous uh, stage from previous pack. And it's simply just going to slot into these two points right here and get it lined up there. And of course, on the other side. And there you go. So that allows that to go up and down. So that's that's all we do in this stage. Let's go ahead and go to stage 30. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and build stage 30. Let's look at the instructions. So we're going to look at the, the rear seat backrest and the symbol assembly of the middle seat. Once again, they give us a middle seat component here. And you can see our assembly instructions here. We are actually going to put that rear bulkhead in that we got in the previous stage. And a lot of screws going in here. And there's all the parts listed. We're going to put that seat bottom in first. And we've got a lot of screws that go into that. As you can see, and that's how that looks there. And then we'll put in that rear bulkhead. And we put in three screws for that. And that's how that looks here. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 30. I'll go ahead and take this out. We'll get a closer look. And here's a close up. This is the rear seat backrest. That's how that looks. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the floor we assembled in the previous uh, pack. So we need to get our seat bottom right here. And this is going to mount down on the floor. Just like that. Okay. Looks like we put in eight screws on the bottom here. And the last one. And once again, that looks good there. And that's the seat installed. Next, we're going to put on the aft bulkhead. So the aft bulkhead simply 
goes down just like that. BPO6 screws go into this. That's a chrome screw. And the last one. Make sure they're all tight here. Very good. And that's how the, that looks with the aft bulkhead in. That's all we do in stage 30. Let's go ahead and go to stage 31. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 31. So stage 31, we are going to start assembling the rear seat backrest panel. And it looks like we received some of the parts for completing that backrest that we received in the previous stage. This is the diagram for that. We're going to put this uh, handle on there. Put three screws into it. Simply inserts into the backrest. Presses down on the backrest. And that will complete it. Let me get the parts and I will be right back. Here's the parts pack for stage 31. I'll take this out, we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts. This is the backrest itself. And that's the back panel made of plastic. We have the handrail goes above. That's also plastic and BPO3. Let's get started. Okay, we put the handle in. And there's some alignment tabs that go on it also. Just like that. And three screws go into this. BPO3. And that's how that looks there. Bring over the backrest and simply this is going to insert in there and press fit. Just like that. Everything snaps together and that's how that looks there. So that completes stage 31. Let's go ahead and get to 32. And welcome back. Here's the final stage, stage 32 for pack number seven. This time we're going to assemble the heater outlets and seat supports. And here are the parts we received. And here's the assembly diagram. And all we do is we assemble the heater assembly. We put a couple screws into it and that's what it will look like. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts pack for 32. Let me take these out, we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. Here's the heater assembly itself, and seat support bottoms, and BPO3 screws. So here's the heater assembly. Simply gonna put this together, just like that. That's what it looks like. Two BPO3 screws go into it. And just snug, that's how that looks. So that's all we do for stage 32. I'll be right back. So that completes pack seven, where we assembled uh, more of the interior, the back seat, the back bulkhead. We assembled another seat back and a floor heater. That was a lot of fun. So if you like my content please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all video upload notifications so that way you can see all future videos for this build head over to diagasini collectibles and subscribe to this car today i put a direct link and a promo code down below click on that direct link lets diagasini know you watched my videos so with that happy modeling everybody and take care <music>